how you rate the importance of getting the JPD when it comes to your career shift to penetration testing. And for the people that don't know, the EJPT is basically the e-learned security certification that stands for Junior Penetration Tester. So how would you rate the importance of getting the EJPT in that sense? It was very important because um, even during my interview, my now boss brought it up that I have the EJPT and you know, they had to look it up but we have another consultant at our company that actually has the EJPT mm -hmm. and he could speak from experience that yes, it does give you that baseline, the baseline skills mm -hmm. and it is a good certification. So, you know, I was kind of fortunate that someone in the company already had it and could vouch for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is a good certification that people are willing to vouch for. Yeah, it is. And could you please describe what happened in your first uh, exam attempt? Because <laughs> I still remember uh, you did this hilarious TikTok on studying like f for a year for this exam. And then, <laughs> yeah. So what happened there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the TikTok, yeah, I was like, I, I studied for a year for this exam, failed it. <laughs> Yeah. So what happened was I, I did it on the weekend. Yes, I, I still had this, this full-time job that I was doing nine to five. So I started it on a Friday afternoon and I did a lot of, you know, enumeration and phone scanning and all of that Friday night. And then I spent all of Saturday um, doing the rest of the test. So the way that this test works is it is a hands-on lab environment. And that is how you get the answer to these 20 multiple choice questions. Yeah. And 15 questions is a pass. So at the end of Saturday, it was like 1 a.m. So it was Sunday morning and I was um, just really tired and I had just answered 15 questions. And I was like, that's probably good <laughs> enough. I'm sure I got all of them right. Yeah. So I pressed submit and I failed because I got one wrong and that was a 14 out of 20 fail <laughs> yeah oh man uh, lessons learned oh and then i i was like okay well i'll just fill out the rest so i i restarted it immediately and it was all new questions so that's a rookie mistake <laughs> try to finish it entirely first yeah um i actually ended up doing it sunday morning and it took me like an hour to finish the rest of it and i passed and <laughs> it, it just a rookie mistake. <laughs> yeah. Well, your experience really helped me because uh, I went for the 20 questions and I just submitted the exam once I had 100% sure that I had 18 correct answers. And um, because I feel like I would have done this exactly the same you did because um, it was my first hands-on exam and I was very stressed because of that. And the exam environment was a little bit uh, unstable, I would say. So I was a little bit even more nervous because of that. But uh, once I saw your, your, your story about that exam attempt, I was like, okay, so once I got those first 15 answers, I shouldn't stop. I must not stop. <laughs> I have to go for the 20. <laughs> and yeah, I ended up passing with, with the 18. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really helped me. And let me just commend you for this because uh, that's an awesome way to deal with failure. I wouldn't say that was a failure because you learn from it and you actually help someone <laughs> with your experience. But um, that's a great way to, to celebrate that you actually attempted to do something and you put in a lot of effort and it ended up not, not paying off in the first try, but unfortunately you have a free retake <laughs> for the JPT. <laughs> <laughs> that's a point for that one. You get a free retake. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is not a commercial, but now it is, right? <laughs>